Ever noticed your dog giving you that dazed and confused look when you're giving them a heartfelt monologue about their crimes from hours ago? You know, the sneaky sock heist they pulled off this morning, or that innocent throw pillow they chewed into oblivion? Well, here's a fun fact. Your dog's memory isn't like ours. Past events, they barely remember anything beyond the two minute mark. So as you're dramatically recounting their morning misadventures, they're probably thinking they're getting a grilling for being their awesome self. You know, like the fanfare greeting you received when you walked in, or the top-notch sitting skills that they just demonstrated. Oops. Dogs are great at sensing our moods, but we humans aren't so good at understanding them. We tend to wrongly assign human motives to our pup's behavior. Now, imagine for a moment that a bit of cosmic magic bestowed upon your pooch the power of speech. What might they want to tell you? Before we dive into these doggy dialogues, how about throwing a thumbs up my way by liking this video? Come on, do it for the dogs. Why are we digging into doggy mind reading? Well, because understanding their secret desires unlocks the cheat codes to a happier, healthier pup. And let's be honest, it helps us feel like top tier human companions too. I mean, who doesn't want to be understood? Except for maybe that one cousin who went full goth in the 90s. You know the one. Let's unleash 10 vital things your fur buddy wants you to know. And hey, don't wander off before the end. There's a tail wagon tip your dog is practically howling to share with you. Literally, Susan, get with the program. Our furry friends embrace that whole living in the present thing better than any mindfulness guru. Let's break it down. They are short-term memory masters. Remember when I said dogs forget things in about two minutes? I'm not kidding. They thrive in the now, not stewing over that squirrel they didn't catch yesterday. They are spatial geniuses. Dogs may not remember your second cousin's name, do you? But they're pros at recalling where they've sniffed and what weird objects they've found. It's like doggy Google Maps. They're emotional memory keepers. Charlie doesn't care about your logic, but make him feel something, joy, fear, excitement, and boom, it's etched into his brain, just like your love for that one-hit wonder band from the 90s. They have simple minds, happy lives. Dogs can juggle a few thoughts at once, max. That's why sit is better than sit down, roll over, and file my taxes. Stick to the basics, folks. In long term, kinda. Dogs may not reminisce about their puppy days, but they sure remember where they bury bones or where the food magically appears. In a few days, they still remember. In human years, not so much. So next time you catch yourself scolding your pup for something that happened hours ago, just remember, there are already three squirrels past that. Embrace the present moment like your dog, though maybe with less drooling. It might save you from some embarrassing pet parenting faux pas. And hey, even if you mess up, your dog will forget it in... What was I saying again? Gary, my man, put yourself in your dog's paws for a second. That leisurely stroll is their equivalent of scrolling through social media, reading juicy gossip, and catching up on all the world events. Here's why letting your dog sniff around is important. It's world exploration. With a sense of smell that makes ours look pathetic, dogs decipher the world through sniffing. It's like decoding a complex, fragrant novel filled with subplots of squirrels, other dogs, and that mysterious thing they rolled in yesterday. It's stress therapy. Sniffing other dogs' calling cards? It's not just nosy, it's a canine social network. Knowing who's been around builds confidence and chills them out. It's their way of keeping up with the Joneses, the Joneses being every other pup in the neighborhood. It's a calming mechanism. Ever seen a Zen dog? That's sniffing at work, releasing endorphins that are basically their version of a spa day. Ah, relaxation through olfaction. It's a learning opportunity. Your dog's nose is like a GPS, a food finder, and an alarm system all in one. Whether it's tracking down dinner, water, or something more sinister, like the mailman, their sniffing is a survival skill. It's a blast. If your dog had a hobby, this would be it. Sniffing is fun, engaging, and a free joy ride for their senses. So next time you're impatiently tugging on that leash, remember that you're interrupting their daily news catch-up, social networking, stress relief, learning, and playtime. Instead, give them space to sniff, be patient, and maybe bring a crossword puzzle for yourself. In a world without thumbs, noses rule, and your dog's schnoz is their key to happiness. Let it lead the way, Gary, and you might just find yourself enjoying the walk more too. Kev, our pupsters rely a lot on reading our beautiful faces and body language to understand what we want from them and how we're feeling. But that's a foreign language they had to learn. But here's the kicker. While they've learned to decipher our weird human expressions, they can't exactly shoot back with a wink or a thumbs up. I mean, thumbs would be handy, but they're fresh out. Instead, they communicate with what they have. Tail wags, barks, howls, and the occasional judgmental stare when you choose to give scratches to the cat. Here's a hot tip. Why not become bilingual yourself? 
Understanding doggy language can bridge the communication gap and turn those confusing stares and tail wags into meaningful conversations. If you need a bit of help, I have a video decoding some of their behaviors, which I'll link to below. So check that out. Hey Janet, remember that time you tried to hide your tears during that sappy rom-com or when you were shaking in your boots during that horror flick? Well, it turns out your pup was right there with you, smelling all those raw emotions. Yep, dogs can smell feelings. It's like having a living, barking mood ring. Here's the scoop. Feeling like a scaredy cat? Your dog knows. Adrenaline sends out a canine notification and your dog's on high alert with you. No wonder they look just as spooked as you are during that jump scare scene. Get a smile as wide as a slice of bacon? Dogs can sniff out those joy-filled endorphins. And if you're down in the dumps, your dog knows it's cuddle time. They can smell the cortisol and read your slump shoulder defeat. So next time you're watching a tearjerker or a thriller, don't be surprised if your pup seems extra attentive or concerned. They're basically tuned into your emotional channel and responding to you in kind. And hey, they may not be judging your taste in cinema, but don't be shocked if they look at you with a knowing glance when you reach for that hidden stash of chocolate. They know, Janet. They always know. Hey Chad, in the grand scheme of things, your dog's aging process is a bit like a time-lapse video, fast forwarded compared to your slow motion human aging. We don't love it, but our little buddies age faster, and here's why understanding that is so important. We appreciate every moment. When you know your dog is on a faster speed setting in life, you cherish every bark, wag, and snooze. We can plan ahead. Like prepping for those golden years, it helps us to know what's coming down the pipeline for your senior baby. We can make smart health choices. If your dog's ears are flying by, those vet checkups should come around quicker too. You'll catch those pesky problems early and get a high paw from your vet. And I don't say this to make you feel bad, but truly understanding how different our pace is when it comes to aging makes us think really hard about all those times we have to leave our pups alone. Nine hours for us may feel like a whole era for them. Alpha schmalpha, Andy. That whole dogs eating an alpha concept is as outdated as bell-bottom jeans and as off track as a squeaky wheel. Here's why. You see, the alpha theory in dogs stems from outdated wolf studies. Turns out wolves live in familial units with parents leading the pack, not through intimidation, but with guidance. Kind of like your family, eh? Now, dogs being domesticated creatures, they've left behind their wolvish ways anyway. They don't structure their relationships in terms of dominance and submissiveness, but in terms of trust, companionship, and respect. So scrap that alpha mindset and embrace your role as a responsible, loving parent. What does that mean? A safe haven. Be the provider of all things good. A cozy bed, nutritious food, fresh water, and a space to frolic and play. Your dog will trust you implicitly. Quality time. Spend some good old quality time together. Play, walk, or just cuddle up on the couch. This strengthens your bond and tells your dog you'll be there for them. Positive reinforcement training 101. Reward good behavior and gently correct or ignore the bad. This way, your dog will happily learn the do's and the don'ts. Consistency is key. Keep your rules and expectations consistent. Changing the rules will confuse your dog. Be a role model. Exhibit the behavior you want to see. Your dog learns from you. So Andrew, drop the alpha act and step into your role as a loving dog parent. Your pup doesn't need an iron fist, but a guiding hand and a warm heart. Be the person your dog thinks you are. See Barb, one thing you need to realize is that all dog breeds were initially bred for a purpose, like herding, hunting, protection, or companionship. That's ingrained in their genes, kind of like our human instinct to love music or enjoy food. And these breed instincts can surface in different ways, even in a modern apartment living setting. Your friend's border collie chasing and rounding up children in the park? That's herding instinct. Your dog's obsession with digging holes in your garden? Terrier instincts, ma'am. It's important to recognize these instincts to understand, manage, and even appreciate our pup's behaviors. Here's why. Behavior explanation. Some behaviors that seem like trouble are often natural instincts. Understanding these can change how you react and help you manage them. Better training. When training, working with the breed's instinct rather than against it often leads to better outcomes. For instance, games of fetch would probably be more appreciated by a retriever than a bulldog. Appropriate breed selection. Knowing breed instincts can help you choose a breed that matches your lifestyle. If you're a hiker, a Siberian Husky would be your ideal sidekick with their strong instinct to run and endure. Improved quality of life. It's important for a dog's well-being that their instincts are recognized and catered to. If not a farm, occasional herding activities can help a border collie fulfill their instinctual needs. Remember, breed instincts can vary and individual dogs may display different levels of these instincts. But hey, it makes it more interesting, right? 
Steve, our pups, those social butterflies, sometimes yearn for a bit of me time. Here's what I mean. You wouldn't want someone hovering over you all day, right? Our furry pals are no different. Dogs need time to chill, relax, and recharge those wagging tails. They might want to catch up on some barking at the neighbor's cat or digging imaginary holes in the couch cushions. Here's how you can help your dog enjoy a little bit of me time. Make a fortress of solitude. Create a comfy, safe space where your dog can retreat, like their own little den away from the hustle and bustle. Don't be a stage five clinger. If your dog walks away and heads to their quiet space, let them be. Don't chase them down for a cuddle. They'll come back when they're ready. Teach them to self-entertain. Leave some toys, puzzles, or a favorite Chewy for their own private playtime. Build up the alone time. Instead of leaving them alone for hours one fine day, slowly increase the alone time. Start with a few minutes and work your way up. So Steve, remember, sometimes your dog wants you to take a step back and give them a little space. It's not that they love you any less, they just need to be their own pup for a little while. It's all about balance, just like your favorite treat on their nose trick. Well Diane, let's chat about the Hug 101 etiquette for dogs. I know, I know, you love your pooch to the moon and back, and sometimes you just want to cover them in a warm, squishy hug. But here's the catch, hugs are a bit of a mixed bag for pups. Here's the lowdown. Not all dogs are huggers. Just like humans, some dogs are all in for a good old hug, while others prefer their personal space. The dog language is pretty subtle, you've gotta pay attention. Reading doggo language. If your dog is happily wagging their tail and giving you lots of licks, they might be into the hug. But if you see them trying to wriggle out, lick lipping, yawning, or even showing the whites of their eyes, that's your cue to back off. Forced hugs are a no-no. Just as you wouldn't like being forced into a hug, your dog feels the same way. Never force a hug on your dog. It might make them feel anxious or fearful. Gentle hugs. When your dog's in a hugging mood, make sure your hug is gentle and comforting. No bear hugs, please. And if your dog isn't a fan of being lifted off the ground, respect their preference. Canine cues. Your dog might have their own unique signals to say they've had enough of the hug. Watch out for signs like whining or an attempt to move away. If your dog isn't a hugger, that's totally okay. There are plenty of other ways to show your love. A game of fetch, a leisurely walk, or their favorite treat works wonders. It's all about understanding and respecting their comfort levels. All right, before I let you go, I wanna let you in on the one thing that every dog wishes their humans knew. Oh man, if only your pup could tell you in human words how much they love you. You see, dogs are all heart and wagging tails. They love their humans so much and they have their unique ways of showing it. So lean in and let me share some secrets. Love beyond measure. Yup, they'd do anything for you, even if it meant putting themselves in danger. You're their world and they'd follow you to the ends of the earth. Your company is the best thing ever. When you're not around, it's like the sun has stopped shining. Your presence lights up their day and they can't wait to see you again. A touch of love. You already know how much they love all the pets and scratches behind the ears and all the belly rubs. Your voice is music to their ears. Even a simple good boy or good girl makes their tail wag like crazy. To them, you're Taylor Swift and they'll crash a thousand Ticketmaster websites to hear your voice. Smell of home. They know your scent. They could recognize it from miles away. And it's the smell of home. There are so many things your dog wishes you knew. Some experts have figured out, and some, well, we're still unraveling those mysteries. But let's not forget your fuzzy friend is a part of your family, and they're affected by your choices too. Do we think about our dogs before buying a household item or a machine? How loud is it? How hazardous might it be? Maybe some of us never considered our vacuum cleaner's noise level from our dog's perspective, or the potential risks of certain cleaning products. Well, it's time to give that a thought. If this video helped you understand your little munchkin better, or if it nudged you to think from their point of view, then my mission here is accomplished. Your dog and I would love to have you join our pack, so do hit that subscribe button. Here's to more loving cuddles and happy days with your dog. Until next time, keep those tails wagging.